I'm going to talk about something I like. Um, this is uh, uh, an anime series called Angelic Lair. Uh, it is the first shonen series by Clamp. Um, oh. Clamp being the all-female manga um, uh, artist group behind um, things like Cardcaptor Sakura, uh, X, um, what else? Gosh, um, Tobasa Reservoir Chronicle, tons and tons and tons of, of, of cool stuff. And um, they decided to make a, a show for boys, or a manga for boys, and that's a show for boys. And Angelic Lair is about an adolescent girl who moves to the big city um, where she discovers these um, little toys you can buy in these little eggs, um, and they sort of hatch out of these eggs, um, and then you can battle with them. Um, and so you get into these arenas, and these, uh, um, see if I can show you a little bit of it, because it's the first episode, you gotta have a, an arena fight in this. Um, that's probably gonna be the best I can do. Um, and uh, you, you basically take your, your toys, put them on an arena, and they go, and you use sort of this brain machine interface to uh, make them battle and see who wins. It is a, I think, 26 episode anime TV series from, if I'm recall, recalling correctly, and I am gonna look this up right now as I speak this because I don't want to misspeak. Um, the anime series came out in- The great year um, of- 2001. I thought it was that mm. right. So 20 years ago. Uh, this series came out. Wow. And um, if, in case you've heard of the Gundam Build series, Ooh. yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, it's same same exact concept. Um, uh. Just done <laughs> quite a bit earlier. Now, granted, this is not the first show to this, to this either. This goes to, that goes to Plaurez Sanshiro, which came out in the 80s, uh, was, was the first of this kind of t uh, type of thing. But hmm. it is very much um, a, a toy battling anime series. Hmm. And so that's cool in and of itself. But what I love so much about this series is that it is um, very much a show that is enjoyable to any age I can think of. Nice. Little kids will enjoy this. Teenagers will enjoy this because of all the different characters that come in and everything's going on. Grown-ups will enjoy this because it's this sweet story of this little girl kind of finding her... Um, uh, the thing that she wants to do. She has a, a nice bright chipper personality, right? That's not a problem. Hmm. Um, but it's, it's, it's very heartwarming. Um, there's enough action in there um, for folks who like action, and kind of, kind of the combat of all that stuff, um, all the different character interactions and character relationships to get um, into, and it's just a really fun um, ride all the way through. It's also nice because it is a five volume manga series. It went a total of five volumes. Tons. So, you get the entire plot in the manga, and you get the entire plot in the anime series. Oh. Boom! Oh. Like, everything comes to the end. Everything is good. Like, there was no drama around, oh, we, where, where are we going to end this? Oh, no. Like, they knew where it ended, and that's what they showed in the anime series. So, boom. You know, you kind of get everything you want out of that kind of thing. Um, Angelic Lair. Angelic Lair. You get closure. You, nice. you get closure, exactly. I like closure. Um, and There's so much that... <laughs> yeah, so much. Um, it's just a, a, a really fun series. I will say, um, it will probably not blow your mind in terms of the plot twists, <laughs> right? Um, you know, um, the, the earth doesn't blow up halfway through, right? It's not that kind of a show. Um, but I just find it really... Um, Charming in the best of, of senses, where it just kind of pulls you in and you're like, oh, I like this character. I like that character. That's fun. One caveat, though, be aware. Um, um, the main character, Misaki, um, is very quickly, so we all know kind of the plot of all this. Kid shows up, discovers this thing exists, and then some kind of mentor shows up to kind of show them the ropes, right? Some adult shows up to say, oh, well, you know, you need to sign up for XYZ. And it's this, like, 30-year-old guy in a lab coat. <laughs> and they play off the fact that as soon as he shows up, everyone else is like, who are you and what are you, why are you talking to this, like, 12-year-old girl? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> and then he, like, disappears so that no one, you know, uh, uh, has any problem. And so they are making fun of kind of that aspect of a lot of these shows um, <laughs> in a way that what, it's kind of wink, wink, nudge, nudge that, that like, they recognize how weird it is and how silly it is.
Right. Um, but he's not never going to face consequences for that because that's not what he's doing here, yeah. right? So <laughs> it can come across as a little creepy the first couple of times because it's like, why is this dirty year old suddenly just grabbing this twelve year old girl off the street and you're dragging her into a store? Um, but it is very much played for laughs, mm. and that is not you know an aspect of the show. So be aware. Love this show. <laughs> really fun. Highly recommend it again. Appropriate for all ages. Um, as long as you don't mind seeing Misaki, you know, neck deep in bath water, like that's as, as weird as it gets. People take baths? Imagine that. Um, in Japan? Player, yes. Yes. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. Um, that is just something that I love. Cool. Yeah.